are you? I'm fine, thank you, yeah. You've had a recent really tricky diagnosis, haven't you? Um, yes. Yeah. But you seem determined to crack on and keep doing your job. How are you managing to do that? Uh, by just carrying on, as you say. I, it happened two years ago. I, uh, I, a, bit, a lifelong, which I've always been for 50 years, a, a fanatic at uh, doing crosswords and uh, things. And I suddenly started finding it very hard. So I, I don't know, and I just said to my wife, I'm, I used to go through two or three crosswords a day, you know, then suddenly I said this, what's happened to me? I, I don't know what's happening. So we, uh, she said, well, let's go and get checked. And uh, they said, you've got the oncoming of, uh, in, not in, I just said insomnia then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was last night. That was uh, yeah. that, 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 yeah. that was last night. Yeah. Well. That was two years ago. It's, and it's what, what was that feeling like when they said dementia? Because it can feel overwhelming for you, for the people around you, but it feels like you've got your head around it and are yeah. looking forward to the future. Yeah, I just I ignored it. I just said, carry on, you know. And uh, I just did carry on and, and worked. And the main the main thing was that why I have come out about it is a lot of people I've met a lot of people who've got it and they're worried about it mm. and I'm I'm not worried about it I've just went to specialists and they gave me tablets and the you know they gradually worked and that the, uh, the advice to people who, who were worried about it is to go and see a specialist and get on tablets um, and I'm, I've got a feeling that within a few years there will be tablets that will cure it so I'm, uh, I just carry on working. And your advice is to live, to keep on living keep on alongside living. it. And yeah. you are living, aren't you? Just got having a I look am. at what's coming up. Oh, uh, yeah. Two albums being recorded in Nashville. Yeah. Uh, you're making a documentary. You're doing a show in Amarillo um, and a big concert for your 80th birthday. Yeah, I'm yeah, starting my uh, big, big, big tour this year. It's going to be very, very busy, uh, but I'm looking forward to it. I, I'm, Music, actually, I found out, is part of a cure for dementia. Um, so every time I go on stage and work, um, it's, it's helping me. You say that music is your therapy. We're seeing like some great moments from you over the years here. We saw a little tape a moment ago from many, many years back. Yeah. Really fantastic moments and memories of you on stage. How easy is it for you to go back into the music and to remember it all? Yeah. Um, it's, it, it did start about two years ago when I thought, um, I'm, I'm forgetting a few of my lyrics, but don't forget I've, I've been singing for 60 years or whatever. Um, in, fact, yeah, in fact, I've got an album out. I never mentioned that, did I? Yeah. The Essential, it's Essential Tony Christie. And it's um, 70 songs, three, a triple album, going back to 1967. That's wow. a lot of work. Yeah, a lot of songs. And to remember them, I mean, I, I've got a, a you know, I, I have a TV screen on, on, on stage as a remembrance. I don't know, always look at it in, in case uh, uh, I suddenly think, what, what's the, the words? What's, but uh, most of the time, I just, uh, it's there. It's, it's like insurance. Um, but I, I managed to get through my shows. It's great. And music does provide that connection, doesn't it, mm. for people people with dementia? I know with my dad, who's got dementia, if we put on music from the 60s and 70s, he's back in the room. Yeah. So you're providing that connection for other people with yeah. dementia. Yeah. I mean, the shows I've been doing recently, <clears throat> my, uh, my wife was in the audience and uh, she was talking to this lady. She's, this lady, she's, my husband's got dementia. Um, and he's been really panicking about it. And my wife says, well, look, that's my husband. He's got it. Look at him. Absolutely. And uh, she says, yeah, that's a good, you know, that's, that's really good. And when you're singing, even with the extra support that, that you have now, how does that make you feel when you're back on stage? What's that like for you? It's a different world. I, I, I just, I'm a different person when I go on stage, you know. I'm a, I'm a very ordinary person off stage, but I, I become, Bang, Tony Christie on stage, and uh, I've become a different person. Uh, and it, 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 it does change me. And I just go on there and become me. That person, that, that person. star, yeah. yeah. 
And tell us about your big 80th birthday party then at... Oh, is it 80? Canary. <laughs> 70th, sorry. I keep telling people it's 50. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, I'm working, yep. believe it or not. I'm, I'm, um, I'm doing a club in London. Um, uh, I think it's called the Boys, the Boys Own or something Club. Um, 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 but it's going to be like a party. We've got my, my family is going to be there, my kids and relations and friends. They're all going to. It's going to be a big singing party, if you like. What are um, the highlights, Tony? You know, for that for that event, what what will be the big moments for you? What songs are you most looking forward to performing? I'm doing well a full show, wow. complete. You know, it'll be like one and a half hours spot, so it'll be it'll be good. Be a good night out. <laughs> And are you persevering with the crosswords? I carry on doing it, yes, I do. Um, but now I don't panic. If, you know, I, if I get half of it right and start to... I put it down and go back a couple of hours later and look at it again and do another couple. Um, and it's, it's not important anymore. It's, it's, it, was one, it was a hobby for me that suddenly I think, you know... Do you think we need to reframe how we talk about dementia? Because typically people have talked about people suffering from dementia. It felt like a death sentence was actually you're proving you can live an extremely fulfilling life around it. Yeah. I just, well, I, I looked at it this way. I thought, well, if, if you start worrying about it, you're finished. Ignore it, carry on and do what you do. Um, and that's what I, I, I advise anybody else that's got it. If they don't panic about it. Carry on and, and do go and see a specialist. Get onto tablets, which I did, mm. and they've changed my tablets, keep giving me better ones, and it's come right down. And what do your doctors say to you about all of this? I imagine they're quite impressed by your attitude. They're very well. They're they're impressed at the fact that I don't panic about it. I, I was there a few days ago, and they said they believe that within a few years, the way it's going now, there will be a there will be a cure for it. And, I'm, I'm praying that, that people out there that, that suffer from it, that, that they will get it, you know, that they will get cured. And in the meantime, live well, live well as you are on, doing. Keep on singing, keep on working. Your diary for the next year is one of the busiest I've seen, so <laughs> God, look, come and see us after it, won't you? And happy yeah, birthday for you, I'm alive, yes. <laughs> And as Tony said, he's going to be performing a really special concert on the 25th of April, Canary Wharf in London, to celebrate that 80th birthday. Yep. Happy birthday for them. Thank you.